And you got to be special when you know I can't have you When I'm under the next one, oh, I know you want me to grab you Oh, do you mean you keep on making me be Nightmares turn into a dream If you're so toxic to me, what am I feeling? Cause I thought it was over Got me thinking my feelings over You keep doing it over and over Hello Sagittarius, so this is your weekly reading. I'm going to also include all signs towards like the mid or last third of this video as well. So if you are dealing with a person or a couple people, definitely check out the all signs part as well. So let's look at the tarot first. Okay, universe, what's, what's the current energy between Sagittarius and the person that's on Sagittarius mind? Page of Swords, three. oh my god, there's an ex that's watching you like crazy, okay? Crazy, crazy, crazy. This person could be a Pisces, Gemini, Cancer, Capricorn, okay? Or a Libra. Universe, the person that's on such a spine, what would this person like to say? This is someone who don't say anything. Could be a Virgo, too. This is someone who doesn't say anything. You probably think that they're not caught up with you. That's not the case. They're watching you, okay? I feel like this person's pissed as well. Universe, the person that's on Sagittarius mind, what does this person keep ahead of from Sagittarius? Yep, look at that. They're pissed. Okay, they feel like either you diss them or they just feel dissed because you're not wanting them anymore. Universe, the person that's on Sagittarius mind, how does this person feel about Sagittarius? Inference in reverse. This is someone who's viewing you in a, in a negative light. Okay, universe, the person that's on Sagittarius mind, what is this person true feeling for Sagittarius? High priestess. Okay. Um, Hmm. Interesting. Um, this could be someone who's not wanting you to do well. Okay. Universal person that's on Sagittarius line. What intention does this person have with Sagittarius? The tower. Ooh. Okay. This is someone. I want to this. This is someone who have bad intentions, bad energy, and they. It's like they're trying to send negative energy your way, but it's not going to come your way. It's going to go back to them. This is someone who thinks that you should say sorry to them, okay? Universe, the person that's on Sagittarius' mind, what action will this person take with Sagittarius? The world. Wow, this is a, a person that's really, like, bitter. Like, not even bitter. It's extreme. I'm getting this person, like, have hatred, Okay. Universe, clarify the world. Magician, I'm getting that vibe too. Now, I don't, I don't really talk about this too much on my channel, but I do. I'm sensing this person trying to do some spiritual work. But again, that energy is gonna go back to them. But if you've been feeling off, if you've been feeling like emotional, like these are not your emotions, probably someone is sending you energy. So the universe wants you to cleanse your energy. Um, stay away from anything that might be toxic, anything that might trigger, like even, I'm going to keep it real, even tarot, okay? Probably you need to take a break from tarot. Taking a break from anything that is like, make you remember the past or um, anything that just been not been beneficial for you, okay? Because I do see someone is trying to send you energy and if you've been feeling off, I feel like we're trying to say that energy is not really yours. It's like probably someone is trying to project that onto you, send it to you, either just wishing you bad or it could be like this person constantly think about you or it could be this person actually trying to do spiritual work, okay? That sign who's doing that could be a Pisces, okay? There is um, Gemini here, Scorpio, okay, Aries. This can also be someone, let's just say that you had a relationship with um, someone that was married or taken or whatever. I feel like that woman trying to send you guys energy. Okay, so just be careful of that. Okay, let's see what else I'm getting. Okay, let's look here. Okay, so you guys, give me a three card spread of messages you have for Sagittarius. Well, okay, so Jenna energy is 
younger man dealing relationship with a younger man then there is well great worry over nothing okay then there is june and then tribe affairs with your family that's a tribe tree interesting so it could be a family member that's doing that probably there's a family member that's jealous of you but i feel like we're trying to say it's like you are protected universe clarified june probably something happened in june june was significant universe clarified june this year june or previous year june wishbone which is granted and then nest emotionally secure loving family is important to you yeah i see you guys are protecting your home your family someone is just it could be jealousy as well you got something that they want okay let's look let's look here Hi right, Universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Sagittarius Emperor? There is fast, all you need is water. Water, okay. Leo, truth, and magician. Okay, Gen Energy is clear vision, you're right? Yeah, so some something's gonna be telling you that something's off. This is not really your energy. If you've been feeling emotional, trust it, okay? There's somebody that's trying to send you energy. So what you gotta do, just clear energy from that situation that person um some of you guys just need to do a forgiveness letter someone is feeling like you did them wrong when you probably didn't do them wrong <laughs> okay um i'm getting like this could be soul ties okay this is someone yeah it could be an aries here or a leo or a water sign okay let's look at this sack Okay, universe, give me a three card spread. What messages do you have for such areas? So there is loneliness, then there's fear and judgment. What I'm trying to say is make sure that you have quality people around you, people that actually want the best for you. Don't be around people just to be around people because you want to have, you know, so-called friends or a partner. No. If these people have give bad vibes, stay away from them. It's, it's best to be alone than to be with people that don't want the best for you, okay? And patient. Be more patient. That's what I'm getting here. All right, let's look at the Capra deck. Let's see what's going on. Okay, right, Universe, give me a three card spread. What messages do you have for such chariots? Toy and labor. Journey an official person yeah i feel like you guys are going to get a promotion probably at work or you are heading to a new level of success people don't like that yep they don't like that so this could just be people that see you as competition or as a threat okay okay so let's look at the all signs we're going to start with aries first All right, so universe, what's the current energy between Sagittarius and Aries? This is the current energy. Well, let's be what's going on. <laughs> so let's see. Universe, what's going on with Sagittarius and Aries? What's going on? Okay, so there's round and round, higher power and why, and then it's career. So yeah, this could be an Aries at work that's wondering why you are elevating the way that you're elevating. Again, this person might see you as competition, new opportunities, possibilities, and path opening up. Okay, that's what I'm getting. So I do see some jealous Aries, okay? Now when it comes to love, there's an Aries is wondering like why you don't want them anymore, okay? And they are getting jealous that you don't want them, okay? and who are you dealing with at the moment so let's look at taurus let's see what's going on universe what's going on with sagittarius and taurus okay this came out in reverse so there's chop wood in reverse you supposed to let go of a taurus but you feel like it's hard for you to do that or this horse feel that way towards you universe is going on universe is going on okay so there is mice discord among friends or family could be a family member something is important such as a new job or raise okay it could be at work again um so people that you might be commingling who might be a taurus acquaintance might be jealous or might be like 
comparing you to like comparing themselves to you like they might feel like it's like this person <laughs> this person's insecure that's what i'm getting so i'm not getting full-blown jealousy but i do get some insecurity okay um when it comes to love here um this could be someone that you have a child with or children with you guys might try to recon like trying to be romantic again just to have that nuclear family or are they trying to do that okay or probably you guys are just trying to reconnect because of financial stability like you guys are best together financially um i mean best you guys are you guys are stable when you guys are together okay financially so i do see that so that could be you feeling that way or that could be them feeling that way okay so let's look at gemini Okay, universe is going on with Sagittarius and Gemini. Universe is going on with Sagittarius and Gemini. All right, universe is going on with Sagittarius and Gemini. Okay, so there is message in a bottle, then there's vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone's against you, cheer field, someone new is into your life. So yeah, with a Gemini, if it's an ex, they are sending you energy and especially if you have been connecting with someone new, it's like they sense that you're connecting with someone new even though you're not making that public. Um, probably they're wishing you guys relationship not to work or your love life not to work. Okay, so that energy gonna go back to <laughs> Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Um, also, a new Gemini be, can be entering your life. However, this person might have negative energy. So pay attention to that. Look at the red flags. Let's look at Cancer now. Okay, so Universe is going on with Sagittarius and Cancer. Universe is going on with Sagittarius and Cancer. Okay, so there is here and now, June, rainbow, the most difficult part of the situation is over, then it's key, successfully, um, successful outcome to your problems, then it's claw, be careful, do not take risks, okay? So Cancer is wanting you now, <laughs> okay? They want to reconcile with you. They want you to forget about all the past problems, okay? Um, but some of you guys are a little apprehensive, okay? But I'm getting, they want to connect. So the energy that I'm seeing is not like really wishing you bad. It's more so like they want you to just be stuck on them because they stuck on you. <laughs> okay, let's see what I'm forgetting. Universe is going on with such shares and Leo. Okay, okay, those cards come out. So let's see what's going on. So there is career, then it's crack cup, dissatisfaction with work, observer, watch, poise, round and round, a loyal heart, and then there is why, okay? So a Leo feel like you broke their heart or that could be you. I feel like what's going on, if you if you are feeling this way, um, it's trying to say focus on your work. I feel like work is going to be therapeutic, okay? Not to get too consumed by your work, but work will be very therapeutic for you guys, okay? Um, probably there was things left unfinished. That's something undone. Or this could have been like betrayal, like they choose someone else, okay? Um, or this could be how they're viewing you, okay? That's something I see there is some resentment on both sides or on 
this person resenting you or something like that. Okay, let's look at Sagittarius and Virgo. All right, so universe, what's going on with Sagittarius and Virgo? Milk and honey. Okay, money to make with a Virgo. Okay. Universe. Okay. So there is mice, okay, discord, friends or family, sun rise, new creative venture, new venture, new creative ideals, new venture, a fresh start, and gong, an exciting event. So you guys are gonna do business with a Virgo. I feel like it will work out very successfully for you guys. However, I feel like after completing this project or this endeavor i feel like there's going to be some drama okay so just be aware of that now when it comes to love i feel like with a virgo some of you guys are connected with this virgo at this moment i do see you guys um either going to have a child together or bang a home together doing something together okay and people gonna be hating <laughs> okay that's what i'm seeing here or you're gonna be meeting a new virgo who's gonna be doing that for you and there's gonna be some haters okay so let's look at Libra. Okay, so universe, what's going on with Virgo and Libra? Universe is going on with Virgo and Libra. So there is higher power. So you guys know something about Libra or Libra knows something about you. Or you guys know that you guys are meant to be together. Let's see. Universe is going on. Older woman. Universe is going on with Libra. What's going on with that chairs and Libra? So diamond, chair, I mean chain. And then there is broken ring. Oh yeah, so probably this Libra had been talking to another person, probably someone from their past or an older woman, okay? Um, dealing or relationship with an older woman, diamond, you'll be receiving gift or precious, you'll be giving or receiving You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift in this broken ring, putting right, parting of ways in either romance or business, and then chain, chain events that will affect your life. Yeah, so probably with the Libra, you guys have plans to be together, plans or something, like it could be a proposal, something's coming out about them. I feel like there's, whoever was a third person is gonna be messy and trying to make their presence known to the main person but you guys can sense that this person was doing something shady or cheating, okay? So with the Libra, I just see broken promises, interference, okay. Universe, what's going on with Sagittarius and Scorpio? What's going on? Okay, Universe, what's going on with Sagittarius and Scorpio? Yeah, what's going on with Sagittarius and Scorpio? Yeah, what's going on with Sagittarius and Scorpio? Okay, so there is Treasure Island. Never ending story, dog close up, pleasure with a close friend, broken rings, parting of ways, either romantic or business. So probably the Scorpio was dealing with the Libra or probably the Libra was dealing with Scorpio. What I'm gonna hear is there was a Scorpio that was lying, probably they pretended like they was at work all the time or probably they was traveling for work when in reality they was traveling to see someone. I do see there is some information that's gonna come out with the Scorpio. They was dealing with someone that they always dealt with before, okay? That's what I'm seeing. So again, empty promises, plans not kept. Let's look at Sagittarius and Sagittarius. So I'm gonna interpret it two ways. So let's look here. Okay, so universe, what's going on Sagittarius and Sagittarius?
Okay, so there is come to the edge, then there's skills. Keep your life in balance and tank hard, celebration, fun, and enjoyment. So this card for me is, is getting caught up. It's getting lost in the sauce, okay? Lost in the moment, lost in a person or lost in a situation. So when it comes to you dealing with another Sagittarius, there's probably Sagittarius that been, there's been no progression, but you guys still be together, okay? Um, probably this person has been a distraction for you. The universe is wanting you to um, prioritize things that is important for you, okay? That could be career goals, other things, okay? Um, that's what I'm seeing. So, like, there's either no progression or things are really imbalanced with you and this fellow Sagittarius. Now, the second interpretation is the relationship with yourself, okay? Um, so I feel like what the universe is trying to say is make sure that you are well organized, making sure that you are accomplishing things that you said you was going to do. Don't get too caught up of like what's going on with what's going on in the news or getting too caught up of, you know, doing just paying your bills, but not doing things that you want to do. OK, so the universe is wanting you to be organized, come up with a plan and fulfill those plans okay because there's you guys have a big purpose and that's what i'm saying and probably there's been things that have been distracting you okay from this purpose so the universe wants you to basically be on it okay so let's look at let's look at sagittarius and capricorn All right, so universe is going on with Sagittarius and Capricorn. Okay, so could have been with a Capricorn too. <laughs> a new life. So probably you guys have broken a soul tie, or broken a relationship with a Capricorn that it was not going nowhere with. Some of you guys are going to be meeting a new Capricorn, and your past recent ex was a connection that was like, was no progression. Universe, okay. Okay. So universe. Okay. So there is January. Yeah. Some of you guys are connecting with the January Capricorn skull. Hidden secrets can harm you. Nest. And emotionally secure loving family is important to you. Then it's man. Dealing a relationship with a man and seahorse family matters. Some of you guys may have a child with this Capricorn or you will have a child with a new Capricorn dolphin. Financial gain usually some coming from something you did in the past. So this is good karma. So if you guys been really good to a past Capricorn, you're getting good karma. Some of you guys, if you connected with a new Capricorn, this is a good person for you, a good soulmate, okay? And it's because you deserve this person. Um, you deserve a good relationship. You guys pay your dues, okay? When it comes to love life. Let's look at um, Sagittarius and Aquarius. So universe, what's going on with Sagittarius and Aquarius? Okay, so there is community. The Aquarius is for the streets, okay? <laughs> Universe is going on a century from Aquarius. Kite, vacation. I see you're going to take a break from Aquarius. Or you may feel like this person's too aloof. You want more? Okay, Universe, give me one my card. There is um, Fox, shrewdness, and resourcefulness, especially in business. This person might have a Venus Aquarius. You may feel like this connection lacks substance, okay? It lacks substance. You don't want to deal with them anymore. <laughs> it doesn't fulfill you emotionally, especially. So, universe, what's going on with Sagittarius and Pisces? Exchanging gifts, okay? So, I feel like you guys are going to feel very comfortable with the Pisces. Let's see what it's about. Universe, what's going on with Sagittarius and Pisces? Okay, yes, what's just going on with Sagittarius and Pisces? What's going on with Sagittarius and Pisces? So there is Zeus, pay attention to work. Okay, there's going to be a fake Pisces as well, someone who's trying to pretend like they're your friend, but they're not. They're just trying to keep their enemies close. Okay, then there's Lobster, financial pinch. Yeah, this is also a Pisces who probably did something nice for you, but they're expecting you to go all out for them or to be there 24-7 for them, okay? So I get a needy Pisces vibe here. 
So this could be a lover or this could be a friend as well. Okay, so that's the reading that I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal reading with me at Queen for the Tarot at gmail.com. And definitely check out Keen. Keen's offering the first 10 minutes for $1.99. I'll put the link in the description box. And also let me know if you guys like the all signs for the middle or the last third of the video. Okay, so I think I'm going to keep it like that. I feel like it's going to be more beneficial for you guys. Okay.